Welcome back to Keep On Creating. I'm Mike, and this is my teacher printers. Let's create something. Welcome back, fellow creators of the universe. Ooh, I gotta write that one down. So first of all, thanks for all the requests coming through for different types of tutorials and videos and everything. I will work my way through them as fast as I can, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you know when a new episode comes in. And welcome to all the new subscribers. It's great to have you aboard and for all the comments and the likes, I really appreciate it. So what are we gonna be doing today? Today we're gonna be doing a patch or a badge design in Illustrator, vector goodness again. Let's do this. Let's get a new document open here. So go up to Illustrator, across the file, drop down to new, and up pops our document window that we can do our selection from. Only leave on it 400 by 400, and click create, and then up pops our blank canvas. I'm gonna switch on my rulers, so I'm gonna go command R. If you don't know where that is, head up to view, drop down to rulers over here, and click on this function over here. Mine says hide because my rulers are showing at the moment, but you just click on that, and your rulers will pop up. Right, so get some text in here. So I'm gonna hit T or select my type tool, which is this tool over here, and just click anywhere on your page for the moment and just type in your text. So I'm gonna say creating and make this font a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna select all, so go Command A and just gonna hit up here to my font size and just scroll up, make that nice and big so we can see what we're doing. Now font wise, I want something a little bit more authentic -y type of thing. So selecting a font, so I'm gonna select this font for this one. Okay, uh, yeah, that one there. Okay, cool. So just leaving it in the center of our page. So with our font selected over here and my move tool selected, which is this tool over here, I'm just gonna hold down Alt and click and drag this up over here and then triple select it and just type in some more text. So keep on, I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna just get my move tool selected, click and drag this down over here and let's just type in MTP 2020, okay. And with now with these two, the top one and the bottom text selected, I'm gonna select those and I'm just gonna scale those fonts all the way down. So just, just make it nice and small and just put pop them over there for now. Obviously, I'm not liking the gap in between these, so I'm just gonna click that, and let's just make this font a little bit smaller in between there, so just reduce that gap size over there. Likewise, for this bottom bit, just reduce that gap size over there. Okay, cool. Just move that in a bit. Okay, so now basically what we wanna do is we want to create a shape going around this. So if you head on over here, you can see these are shape tools now. We've got a rectangle, round, ellipse, and polygon. Now I'm gonna select this polygon tool and go to the center of my design, somewhere around about here. I'm gonna click and drag. So here's a top tip. If you're scaling an object in Illustrator and wanna keep it in proportion, use your finger, hold shift. If you wanna scale from the center of an object, use two fingers, hold shift and alt. And if your napkin's about to blow away from a furious wind, Maybe use three fingers. That's just a little extra tip. And I'm gonna hold Alt, so it drags from the center of this design. So just hold Shift so it snaps to that nice 90 degrees, okay? So I'm gonna put it to about there and just release. Now what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna hit R. Okay, that gets my Rotate tool up, which is this tool here. I'm gonna hold Shift and click and drag upwards and you can see it snaps to that 90 degrees and that's where I wanna drop it there. And to see what I'm actually doing, I'm just gonna hit Shift and X, or you can head over here to your palette and you can just swap those colors around so you can change your fill to your stroke so you can actually see what you're doing. Just gonna bring that more into the center and I'm gonna get my ruler up so I know that this is my center point up here. So I'm gonna go to my side, click and drag a ruler and just drop it right there so that's my center point. I'm gonna hit E to get my transform tool, which is this tool over here, it's my transform tool and I'm going to click this point over here and just drag down, but I'm gonna hold Alt and it drags from both your directions. So I'm gonna drag that all the way in like to about there-ish, okay. So I'm gonna hit V to get my pointer tool up, which is this selection tool over here, and click and drag that up over here. That's cool. Okay, let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And now I'm gonna bring this part over here in a little bit and I just wanna select this little node over here. So if you hit A or this direct selection tool over here, it brings up your node. So if I just click on that node, okay, you can see it's selected and I'm just gonna hit my down arrow a few times. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same with this bottom bit over here. I'm just gonna select that once and just move it up. 
okay, just to make it a little bit tighter. Now you can see these edges are quite hard at the moment. So I'm gonna select this with my pointer tool, or my selection tool, and hold down command and it gives us these little radius buttons. So if you just click and drag those, you can see it completely makes those corners round. So I'm gonna bring them into by there-ish, okay. Then I'm gonna hit A to get my absolute select tool, my direct select tool. I'm gonna to select those two up there and these two down here, okay. And then I'm gonna just click and drag them all the way in to make those even softer. So it just makes it really nice and round there. Okay, and then you didn't have to go in there and redraw this with the pen tool and struggle like crazy. So that looks cool there. Now I'm gonna bring this in, okay, and bring that in there. And I'm gonna to need to convert this into outline. So I'm gonna select all three sections of my text and I'm gonna go Command, Shift and O and that converts my text to outline. So that is, if you go up here to type and drop down to create outlines, you click on that and it does this where it converts our text to outlines. I'm just gonna select this, hit E, okay, cause I can then see my center points, which is this little point over here. And I can just move with my arrow tool just to make it all nice and central. Likewise for this bit over here, hit E again and just move it in. Select this bit over here with my pointer tool, hit E and just, just shimmy them in a little bit, okay. I actually wanna make these two sections a little bit smaller. So I'm selecting them, hit E, and I'm just gonna drag them in while holding shift. Just make them just somewhere around about there-ish. That's cool. Move that one back up, okay. Move this one back down here, that's cool. Okay, so just manipulate them with my arrows. Cool, okay. Let's make this stroke over here a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna head, select that and head up here to my stroke and I'm just gonna round them over there as well as just push up that line there so you can see we're starting to make it nice and thick. Okay, that's cool. Maybe one or two down. There we go. Okay, now what I wanna do is draw some lines going across here. Okay, just section that off. So I'm gonna draw a line from here to here. That's cool. And I want it right there where it breaks into that area there. That's cool. Just bringing this back a little bit, okay. And I'm gonna select this, hold the Alt, click and drag all the way to the other side. Drop it over there, make a duplicate of that. Now I wanna do the exact same down here. So I'm gonna select both of these with my Move tool, which is this tool up here. Hold Alt, Shift, and click and drag down here. Cool, probably just a tiny bit more. And let's just bring these away from our text a tiny bit. So just drag them there and drag them there. That's cool. Maybe a little bit further. Okay, that's cool. Should we bring that down a little bit more? I'm thinking we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring that down a little bit more. So we're gonna have to tuck that just a bit there and tuck this one a bit there. Okay. Now this whole time while designing up this patch design, I'm just keeping an eye on that top and that bottom lettering. Just making sure it doesn't go too small because obviously when you embroider too small, it can end up looking a little bit blobby. And that's not what we want, is it? Especially when it comes to these little cap bits over here. When we're embroidering, that can be a little bit tricky to actually get the, those embroidered. Just these little serif bits. It's okay when it's a nice big graphic like this, but it gets a little bit untidy when we're dealing with that situation and embroidery. Let's add a little bit more to this. I'm just gonna get my marquee tool or my rectangle tool. I'm just gonna put M, okay? And it reverts back to my rectangle tool. I'm gonna click and drag just on my page over here. I'll just make a nice big block. Hit P, okay, to get my pen tool up. And I'm gonna just minus off one of those points there, okay? So I'll get in, end up with a nice triangle like that. Just flip this around so we get our fill in there. So I'm gonna get Shift X, or you can just go and flip around over here. Hit R to get my rotate tool, click and drag, and just get it to that nice 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna soften this up, so just soften that up a little bit. I'm gonna hit that Command tool, get my radius things, and just drag that in a bit. So I can just select this one little point over here. I can leave those other two quite sharp. And yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I'm gonna center this. There's my center point over there. I'm just gonna click and drag that and put that right on my guide. Let's just put it over here. Okay, yeah, somewhere around there. Let's have a look and see how that looks. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. So obviously we need to cover up this little bit over here. So I'm gonna add another point in and I'm just gonna hit plus over there. So you can give it, it gives me that little plus sign. I'm gonna click there and just move that little node up a little bit. And you can see what it's done if we just tuck that little bit in there. So now I wanna do the exact same part down here. I'm gonna click on that, hold Alt and Shift, drag it all the way down, hit R, flip that all the way around. Okay, zoom in and let's just tuck it in over there. 
gonna have to make these a little bit smaller, I can tell, because that 20 is kind of in the way. So just gonna shrink that a little bit. Obviously, we want them to be the same, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that one and take this back up. So when you're designing, everything becomes a little bit fluid and you start manipulating all these different little elements to make sure everything matches. So that's starting to look pretty cool. Now to add a bit more punch to this creating bit, I want to warp it a little bit. So I actually want to give it these to the C and the G a little bit more presence and the center bit, just want to shrink that in a little bit. So I'm going to select this creating bit over here, go up to effect and drop down to warp and select this, uh, let's go for bulge. So we select this bulge bit. Now bulge works two ways. You can either scroll this way to make it bulge out that way, or you can go the opposite way where it comes inwards kind of like that. Obviously don't overdo it. So you can see what it's done to the C and the G has made them big and that central part of the A has gone quite small. I just want it very, very slightly. So it gives you this blue area or the selection area of where your graphic was to where it is. And I just want it very slightly just like that. So I'm going to click OK. Now you're going to have to expand this. So you're going to go up to Object, drop down to Expand Appearance, and you'll see now that blue line has snapped to our actual graphic. And that's kind of what I'm looking for there. Now the next thing I want to do before I go and convert these strokes here, I'm going to select this layer over here. I'm going to go copy, head over to my layers, okay? And I'm going to make a new layer by just clicking on that little plus icon there and I'm going to paste. So I'm just going to go Command Shift V to make sure it pastes in the exact same place. And I'm just going to drag it underneath my layer over here. Now with this one, I'm going to just make that stroke a little bit thicker. So I'm going to click on my stroke. I'm just going to size it up so you can see it's getting really, really thick behind there. That's kind of what I'm looking for. And I'm also going to make my fill over here black. So you can see my color over there. I can just click on that and it makes it a complete full color. Head back over to my layers. Okay. And select this layer over here. You can just select this little button over here. If you just click over there, it selects everything in your layer. Now I'm going to head over to object, go expand and it converts everything to outline. So I can say that my full and my stroke, I want everything converted to a nice outline. Click on that and you can see it creates everything there as an outline. So if we just get our swatches up, which is this palette over here, and click on any color swatch and everything sort of comes to life. Now let's make some color in here. So I'm gonna select this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And let's make them, let's just make them this orange color. It always works well. Just don't forget those two lines there, make that orange, and that's starting to look pretty cool. So we can actually go ahead and select our background layer here. So I've just selected this background layer, head back up to your stroke, and let's just make that a little bit thicker even. You can see how cool that's starting to look. Always when designing, design your design for something that's gonna be really small, so almost like the smallest or an alternate logo for a small situation, because we work on these big high definition monitors and they look fantastic when they're this big, but when you scale them down, you gotta make sure it still works. And that brings us to the end of another fine episode. Make sure to follow us on our social channels, all listed over here, and smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here.